Where Butterflies Grow. A book written by Joanne Ryder. Pictures were drawn or painted by Lynn Terry. Some beautiful pictures in this book, boys and girls. Hi, we're gonna read a book together. And this book, you get to pretend that you are like the life of this, this, this butterfly being born. And so if you wanna move around a little bit while you're listening to the story and just kind of act it out, you can. Or if you just wanna sit and listen, that's okay too. Let's get started. Where Butterflies Grow. This is a growing place, green and warm and bright. Lift up a leaf and you may find. Someone is ready to be born. Lift up a leaf and imagine, okay? Here you go. In your imagination. Imagine you are someone small, hidden in a tiny egg, growing bigger, growing darker, till one hot morning you burst your shell and creep into brightness. Imagine you are a creeper. You're thin and dark. You live on a long, lacy leaf. When the wind tickles the leaf, you and your world shake. But you have feet, two rows of creeper feet. They hold on tight and keep you safe. Like a tiny acrobat, you creep, balancing and dangling high above the earth below. As you move, your loft song, your soft long body ripples, flowing slowly along green stems. You climb up, up, up the stems to eat the leaves. As you grow, you climb higher and higher where flowers spread like umbrellas. You nibble and eat the tiny white flowers. You eat and eat until your skin gets so tight. Just imagine you can rub your belly. Imagine that you've just eaten such a yummy meal, a delicious meal of leaves and flowers. And you are so full. Underneath, you have a new big skin. You're gonna grow into it. You swallow air, puffing up and up until your tiny, tight skin splits. You can take in some breaths. <gasps> and imagine that your skin is splitting out. Old and wrinkled, it falls away like cast off clothes. Look at you now in a new striped suit. Now you have your second suit on. This is called molting. Remember we talked about that. We actually got to see some of our uh, butterflies do that in, um, in their little cups, didn't we? It's pretty cool. So in this sunny place, you eat and, and rest and grow, but others are growing too. You feel one coming close and you rear up. Orange horns pop out of your head. A strong scent puffs into the air. You look so fierce. The hungry one darts away, hoping to find a better tasting meal. Uh-oh, imagine a bird is coming to eat you, to, thinking about eating you, but you are gonna puff up and stick out your horns and smell bad, Blech. so that the bird finds a new meal. You grow and grow and fat and full of flowers until one day you are gonna just stop looking for food. You, you creep along the ground, moving as fast as you can, hunting for someplace tall and firm. You climb up a bare brown branch and make a silken sling to rest in. So you can imagine that you're climbing a tree now and you're trying to find a spot so that you can attach your silk to the tree. There you are. So you've molted how many times? four times already, and now you're getting ready to find your spot where you're gonna just rest for a while. And then you curl and stretch until your old skin splits loose. You wiggle, shaking your striped skin down and down until it falls away. There's the four, the four times, and we're gonna, you're gonna turn into a shape. Which shape is that going to be? Let's see, look at all that activity happening on that branch. 
no longer a creeper, you rest. Because you don't have legs anymore, so you can't move. What shape is this becoming? Hmm. Sort of like a J, right? That's what they say that the chrysalis is. In this green and growing place, you are hidden, hard to see or find. And maybe you could just curl up into a little ball, like a pupa, like a larvae on the tree, a chrysalis. Go ahead and curl up now. You are hidden, you are hard to see or find and be very still and quiet, resting through the long warm days. Hungry ones come near, but you are safe, looking like a small brown twig. Camouflage, right? So the birds can't find you and eat you. Hidden inside, you are changing, growing new long legs, growing new wide wings, covered with tiny scales of beautiful color. Do you see him? As you change, you turn darker, revealing your black wings, your black body, your bright yellow spots, all tucked inside. There you are on your stick. Until one morning you are ready to burst your twig-like shell. And it does, it gets really hard right before it's gonna open. You crawl out, you're wet and crumpled, but new. You dangle high on long, long legs and hang on tight. Your four wings slowly unfold, growing larger, brighter, and full of bold colors. So you can come out of your, out of your, out of your, um, your hiding place, your resting place now. You can open up and pretend that your wings are opening too, and they're drying off. So you can flap them a couple times to, to dry them off and, and iron them out with your hands so that they will become straight and not crumpled anymore. You wait, moving your wings, drying them, feeling them grow stronger and harder till a warm wind tickles you. Now you can just pretend that the wind is blowing you just very slightly and just rock back and forth. Spreading your wings wide, you let go and fly higher and higher. Open your wings up so wide now. You drift above the flowers, light and fragile like them. You touch nothing but sky, flying far, far above the ground. Then you fly low from bright flower to bright flower, landing gently on the soft petals, testing and tasting sweetness with your feet. You sip the sweet nectar through your long curled tongue called a proboscis. That's right, like a straw. And if you look closely, boys and girls, at the video I sent the other day on class tag, you can see our butterflies proboscis up close and um, while they're drinking out of the out of the nectar that I've placed in their habitat. You soar over the bare branch where you rested, far above the growing place where you crept from leaf to leaf and flower to flower. These long summer days you have grown and changed and your world has grown too. Now it's time to fly to new places, time to look for others like yourself, bright, bright flyers in the sun. Fly, butterfly, fly. Now you can flap your wings and fly around because you are free like a butterfly. The end.